Imagine a small, nimble warship designed to engage enemy vessels, aircraft, and even submarines. This is the definition of a corvette. But not just any corvette. We're talking about one of the most advanced in the world. The Visby-class corvette of the Swedish Navy. Renowned for its versatility and stealth, the Visby can take on surface, air, and underwater threats. Placing it alongside other elite corvettes, such as Germany's Braunschweig and the Dutch-designed Sigma. As the geopolitical tensions between Russia and Ukraine escalate, the Baltic Sea has become an increasingly strategic zone. Sweden, positioned at the heart of this region, requires a warship capable of defending its coastline from evolving threats. With its cutting-edge technology and state-of-the-art combat systems, the Visby-class corvette has become the backbone of the Swedish Navy's naval defense strategy. Want to know more about the Visby class and its revolutionary design? Stick around as we explore the groundbreaking technology behind this stealthy Corvette. The Visby class Corvette was developed by the Swedish company Kockums, now part of the defense giant Saab. While the construction of the first Visby-class ship began in 1996, Sweden had been experimenting with stealth technology long before. In fact, Sweden's interest in stealth technology dates back to 1990, when it built HMS Smyge, one of the world's first stealth warships. HMS Smyge laid the groundwork for the Visby's radical design, incorporating lessons learned from that early prototype into the more advanced capabilities of the Visby class. Despite being a compact vessel, the Visby class measures 72 meters in length and displaces approximately 640 tons when fully loaded. What makes this ship particularly unique is its shallow draft of just 2.4 meters, allowing it to navigate through coastal and archipelagic waters, terrain that many larger ships struggle to operate in. This makes it an ideal vessel for Sweden's coastline. Visby's sharp, angular lines and minimalist hull aren't just for looks. Saab has developed what it calls genuine holistic stealth, a design philosophy aimed at minimizing the ship's signature in various detection spectrums. This includes reducing the heat, light, sound, and electromagnetic emissions that the ship produces. The goal is simple, enable the Visby to act first, ideally, without even being detected. In terms of propulsion, the Visby uses a Kodog system, which allows it to switch between efficient cruising and high-speed sprints. Capable of reaching speeds in excess of 35 knots, this Corvette can outmaneuver many adversaries while covering large distances at sea. Whether it's patrolling Sweden's coastline or pursuing hostile targets, the Visby class is built for speed, agility, and endurance. The Visby class Corvette is not just about stealth and speed. It's a formidable combat platform designed to take on a variety of threats. The ship's primary weapon is the Bofors 57mm Mark III naval gun, a versatile weapon that can engage a range of targets from fast-moving boats to incoming aircraft. Its rapid-fire capabilities make it especially effective in high-intensity combat situations where quick reaction times are critical. However, the Visby's true strength lies in its versatility. The ship is equipped to handle threats both above and below the waterline. For anti-submarine warfare, the Corvette is armed with 400 mm anti-submarine torpedoes. These precision-guided weapons can hunt and neutralize enemy submarines, providing vital protection against underwater threats. This makes the ship a multi-role platform capable of adapting to a variety of mission profiles depending on the operational needs of the Swedish Navy. The first Visby-class Corvette was launched on June 8, 2000. And to date, 
five Visby-class ships are in operational service. These ships have proven to be ideal for coastal defense, thanks to their stealth capabilities, speed, and multi-role combat systems. However, like all military platforms, the Visby Corvettes must evolve to keep pace with modern threats. One area where the Visby has been somewhat vulnerable is in anti-air warfare. Although the ships have impressive anti-surface and anti-submarine capabilities, their limited air defense systems make them susceptible to attacks from aircraft and missiles. Recognizing this vulnerability, the Swedish Navy initiated a series of midlife upgrades to the Visby class. In January 2021, Saab and the Swedish Defense Materiel Administration signed a contract to upgrade the five Visby Corvettes. This upgrade program, valued at around $23 million, aims to enhance the ship's operational relevance beyond 2040. One of the most significant improvements will be the addition of a state-of-the-art air defense system, which will drastically improve the ship's ability to defend against aerial threats. As part of the midlife upgrades, the Swedish Navy has selected MBDA's Common Anti-Air Modular Missile, also known as the Sea Scepter, to equip the Visby-class corvettes. The Sea Scepter is a cutting-edge naval air defense system designed to protect warships from a wide range of airborne threats. Whether dealing with supersonic anti-ship missiles, attack helicopters, or unmanned aerial vehicles, the Sea Scepter provides robust protection against simultaneous, multi-directional attacks across a 360-degree engagement zone. Weighing in at 99 kilograms, the Sea Captor is relatively lightweight for its capabilities. It measures 3.2 meters in length, with a diameter of 166 millimeters, offering a compact yet formidable design. The missile's supersonic speed and ability to engage targets at ranges exceeding 25 kilometers give the Visby class a much needed boost in air defense capabilities. With the addition of the Sea Scepter, the Visby class corvettes will not only maintain their reputation as stealthy, multi role vessels, but will also gain a much stronger defensive posture. This upgrade will ensure that the Visby remains a formidable force in Sweden's naval fleet, capable of defending its waters well into the 21st century. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.